All right, I'm going to teach you how to get every single circle question right on the SAT and the ACT. And then we're going to prove it with actual problems from the exam. So let me show you. So the general equation of a circle is in the form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. That's the general circle equation, where h, k is the center, and r is the radius. So if it was in this form, this wouldn't be a problem for you, because then you would know exactly which one's the center and what's the radius, and it would be easy. Unfortunately, the SAT doesn't really put it in this form. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to um, put it in this form by completing the square. I'll explain to you how to do that. So for example, if you have the equation x squared plus 4x plus y squared plus 8y is equal to 16. In order to complete the square, you would take the b value, you would divide by 2 and square it, and then you can add it to both sides. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Squared is going to be 4. So I'm now going to add 4 to both sides. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Squared is 16, and I'm going to add 16 to both sides. So now I have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared plus 8y plus 16 is equal to 16 plus 4 plus 16 is 36. Notice I can add to both sides without affecting the equation. I can add to both sides the same thing without affecting the equation. That's what makes this so beneficial. So I can complete the square here. And this becomes x plus 2 squared. This becomes y plus 4 squared. So now, and even the 36 can be sort of 6 squared. So it becomes x plus 2 squared plus y plus 4 squared is equal to 6 squared. And that's exactly the form that we like. So based on that, we know the center is at negative 2, negative 4. And the radius is at 6. You might ask me, why is the center negative 2 and not positive 2? It's because the general equation is x minus h. And where h is a center, here it's x plus 2. So it would be saying x minus minus 2. That's why it's minus 2. And this would be y minus minus 4. OK, great. So now let's actually turn our attention to actual problems from the SAT, and let's stress this understanding. Which of the following is an equation of circle in the xy plane with center, with center 0, 4, and a radius with endpoints 4 thirds, comma 5? OK, so if we have a circle, and we sort of draw this circle, then the center is 0, comma 4, OK? And an endpoint is 4 thirds, comma 5. But we know the general equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So what's the center? The center is 0, 4. So it would be x minus 0 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to r squared. So that's x squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to r squared. Right, well, right now, you know it can either be a or c. b doesn't work because that's y plus 4. d doesn't work because it's y plus 4. And then you're asking, well, what's the, what's the radius? Well, c, the radius here says 5 thirds. a, the radius says 25 over 9. They're squares of each other. So since you know the radius is r squared, you just pick the 25 over 9 because they're trying to trick you. But you know, if you don't want to go down into that, um, those little nuances on the SAT, you could very easily get the radius by looking at the distance between these two points. The distance between the center and an endpoint of a circle is always going to be the radius. So you can just use the distance formula. We know the distance formula. The distance formula is equal to the square root of y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. 
So then the distance is equal to the square root of 5 minus 4 squared, 5 minus 4 squared, plus 4 thirds minus 0 squared. OK, so then that would be the square root of 1 squared plus 4 thirds squared, which would be equal to the square root of 1 plus, what's 4 thirds squared? It's just 4 thirds times 4 thirds, which is just 16 over 9. So that would be equal to the square root of 9 over 9 plus 16 over 9. So that would be the square root of 25 over 9, which would just be uh, 5 over 3. So the radius is 5 over 3, but the equation is the radius squared, so it has to be a. You have to realize that the SAT is putting questions in order for you to get tricked. So that's why when you look at the choices between a and c, you know it has to be the radius squared, and that's how they're trying to trick you. All right, let's turn our attention to, um, to another problem. And this one comes from SAT, SAT number five, number 29. So the equation above defines a circle in the xy plane. What are the coordinates of the center of the circle? All right, we just sort of did this where you have x squared plus 20x plus y squared plus 16y is equal to negative 20. All right, well, it's not in the form we know for circles, so we make it in that form by completing the square. So we take the 20, we divide it by 2, that's 10, and we square it. So we add 100 to both sides. We do the same thing for the 16. Divide by 2 is 8. 8 squared is 64, so we add the 64 to both sides. So now we have x squared plus 20x plus 100 plus y squared plus 16y plus 64 is equal to 100 plus 64 minus 20 is 144. So now I can very easily factor this. It basically factors itself because you're, you're, actually, you're completing the square. So this is just x plus 10 squared, and this is just y plus 8 squared, and 144 we know is 12 squared, so they purposely do it for you to make it easy. So the center is negative 10, negative 8. Don't be confused, it's not 10, 8, because we talked about x plus 10 is the same as x minus minus 10. So it's minus 10 minus 8, and if they asked for the center, it would be 12, it would ask for the radius, it would be 12, because it would be 12 squared. All right. That was great. Let's move on to uh, let's move on to another question. This gets a little bit more complicated, but it's the same type of question. What is the radius of the circle? Same thing, right? We're doing the same thing. In this case, you see the coefficient in front of the x squared is two. So what what I like to do, and what what you really need to do, is divide everything by two. You want to make the coefficient one. So you have two x squared minus six x plus 2y squared plus 2y is equal to 45. Divide everything by 2. That gives you x squared minus, minus uh, it would be 3x. So let me, uh, let me make that correction. x squared minus 3x plus y squared plus y is equal to 45 over 2. Great. So now I need to complete the square. Remember, it, it doesn't look really nice having fractions, but you're doing the same thing. And you just don't be intimidated by the fractions. Just go ahead and do it. It's going to work itself out. So 3 divided by 2 squared. So 3 divided by 2 squared is 9 over 4. So I'm going to add 9 over 4 to both sides. And then 1y is 1 divided by 2 squared is 1 over 4. And I'm going to add 1 over 4 to both sides. So now I have x squared minus 3x plus 9 over 4 plus y squared plus y plus 1 over 4 is equal to 45 over 2 plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4. Right, well, they're just asking for the radius, so I just need to focus my attention to the right side because that would just be the radius squared. So 45 over 2 is the same as what? I could just multiply both uh, top and bottom by 2. 
So this is the same as 90 over 4 plus 9 over 4 plus 1 over 4 is 100 over 4, which is just 25. So 25, and that's equal to r squared. We know that r squared is 25. So we know r has to be 5. So the radius is 5, and that's the answer. We're actually solving it the same way we did previously, but because there are fractions, a lot of people get intimidated. Just don't get intimidated by fractions. Follow this approach and you'll be fine. Okay, let's move on to number 29. A circle in the xy plane has equation x plus three squared plus y minus one squared is equal to 25. So here they give you the equation of the circle. And what are they asking? They're asking which of the following points do not lie in the interior of the circle. So let's try and understand exactly what we have. We have the center of the circle we know is negative three. The center is negative three comma one. And the radius is equal to five. We know that because we know the equation of a circle. So the center is gonna be negative three comma one. Great. We know the radius is 5. So we know this point right here is going to be negative 8, comma 1. Okay. We know this point right here, well, is just going to be 2, comma 1. This point right here is negative 3, comma 6, right? Because you're going 5 up. This point right here, you're going 5 down, is negative 3, comma, uh, negative 4. So now we have all these points on the circle. They're asking which point does not lie in the interior of the circle. So negative seven, well, first of all, zero, zero for sure is in the center. That's that's somewhere here. Has to be the center, has to be in, in, in interior of the circle. So it can't be zero, zero. Negative three, one, I mean, that's the center. So of course that's in the circle. Three comma two. So you have three comma two. And if you, if you really want to graph it out, 3 is here, about here, and 2 is up here. So this is 3, 2. So of course, that's outside the circle. Uh, of course, that's outside the circle. And then negative 7, 3 is somewhere about, about here inside the circle. If you're a little bit concerned about exactly, is it in the interior circle? Is it not in the inter interior circle? The way to do it is to use the distance formula. If the distance is greater than the radius, it's outside the circle. If it's less than the radius, it's inside the circle. And that's another way to do it. So let's turn our attention to another problem. Number nine. In the xy plane, the graph of the equation above is a circle. So of course, we know it's a circle. So because we know it's a circle, we can draw the circle and we could understand the circle. So this is the circle. And um, let's understand that for a second. So the center is, we know it's 6 comma negative 5. 6 comma negative 5. And the radius, we know the radius is 4. So they're saying if point P is on the circle and has coordinates 10 negative 5, so that's right here, 10 negative 5, and this is P. And if PQ is a diameter of the circle, what are the coordinates of Q? Well, diameter of the circle has to go through the center of the circle. So you're really looking at a line like that. And you're looking at this point Q. Well, if this point is four away because it's the radius, then this point has to be four away also. So if this is 10 negative five, this is six negative five, then point Q has to be two negative five. And that's exactly how you get it right. What happens is a lot of students, they look at these equations and they try and do things algebraically. And that's really where you're going to get into situations where it's going to be difficult for you. Rather, you know it's equation of a circle, draw it out. They give you a circle, put it in the equation of a circle. Always try and elaborate on the question so that you could understand how to solve it. So that's it. Just use this and you'll be able to be solid on circles moving forward. Thanks a lot for all your support. Really do appreciate it. And please like and subscribe.